Hey guys, we're here today in Valheim and we're going to have a discussion about the best foods for your character in each stage of the game. You could break up the stages of the game into biomes being the meadows, black forest, swamp, mountain, or plains. However, some of the things that you need in order to acquire higher quality food are actually locked behind certain stages of the game, such as the cultivator or the cauldron. So it's more accurate to look at these stages of the game as ages being flint age, bronze age, iron age, silver age, and black metal age. And more often than not, your age is progressed by killing the corresponding boss. This video is not a guide on how to acquire or grow any particular type of food, but instead is an overview of all the foods, their best qualities. And this video is assuming that you have been able to locate the trader in your seed. You've been able to kill serpents, kill locks, and plant sufficient resources. First thing we need to cover is base hit points and stamina points. The base hit points is obviously 25, as shown at the bottom left of your screen. The base stamina points is not shown, however, it is 75 total stamina with each of the lines or brackets representing 25 stamina points. This stays true for stamina and health as they increase with each section or bracketed area representing 25 health or stamina points. The next thing I want to clarify as we go into this video is health regeneration rate. Every food item in the game lists its health regen rate. We will not be optimizing any of our best foods for this region rate because most of the high-end food, regardless if it's spec for stamina or health, gives you the same region rate or at least something comparable to another piece of food. And if you're going into combat, preparing to fight something difficult like bone mass, you are most likely taking health potions with you. So your health region rate does not play a huge factor into combat. Therefore, we won't be specking any of this best food to optimize health regeneration. But do keep in mind that your health regeneration rate happens every 10 seconds. So if you were to stack three items with four regen, you will regenerate 12 hit points every 10 seconds. And the last important thing for us to go over before we talk directly about the foods is the food degradation rate. You have probably noticed at this point that when you eat a piece of food in Valheim, you almost immediately start getting a reduction in your max hit points that you had just put on with the food. Valheim's health degradation works from the moment that you eat the food, which means that time you spend trying to recuperate or regenerate up to max health is actually eating into your overall hit points. This means it's very important to eat food or increase your hit points while standing next to a fire and having the resting buff so that you waste less of the food's duration, regenerating yourself up to full health. The health degradation rate on each piece of food is fairly simple to figure out by just taking the duration the food lasts and dividing it by the hit points it gives you. For example, if we took the 2,400 seconds that Serpent Stew lasts and divide it by the 80 hit points it gives us, we find out that we lose one hit point every 30 seconds. If we were to stack multiple pieces of food together, this math for the ratio still works. You take 2,400 seconds and then divide it by 250 hit points, which is how much hit points you get from Serpent Stew, Lox Meat Pie, and Blood Pudding, and you find out that we're losing a hit point every 9.6 seconds. The math on the food degradation rate follows whatever the longest timer you have running at that time is. So if you were to eat carrot soup and then follow it up with Serpent Stew and Lox Meat Pie, you would just total the hit points up to the 2,400 seconds of the Serpent Stew or Lox Meat Pie, whatever you ate last, and that's the rate it will degrade. Now, if you have an aversion to math, we have the degradation rates here on the screen, and you can also take a look at every food in the game, what benefits it brings, and what age or biome you will come across or unlock it in. This list here is putting fish and anything fish related at the swamp biome or higher. Even though you can find the trader earlier than this, we're just putting it in the same age that you unlock the long ship, since this is the fastest ship, and sometimes the trader can be very annoying to find, and the long ship is very helpful in that. The other thing you'll notice here is that mountain and swamp are combined. The mountain biome does not add any new foods to it, so whatever is the best food for the swamp will be the best that you have access to in the mountains at that time. All right, now that we have all of that math out of the way, we are going to go through each age and biome and what the best foods you have access to are. We will be going through the best foods for your hit points, the best foods for your stamina points, and then what I believe to be the best foods for cost efficiency. And the cost efficiency ones could be somewhat of a personal preference, and you might not have access to the foods I list here quite as easily as some other food, depending on the biome you're in. Or again, if you've found the trader, if you've been able to hunt down serpents, and so on. For the meadows, or what we are calling the Flint Age, your best setup for hit points will be cooked meat, grilled necktails, and honey, which will net you a total of 120 hit points and 145 stamina. The best setup for stamina points will be cooked meat, mushrooms, and honey. This setup will net you 100 hit points and 145 stamina. 
It will be the same stamina points as the best health setup at this stage. This discrepancy will become bigger as we get through the ages, but at this point in the game, your stamina is not going to get very high. So if you have easy access to grilled necktails, you might as well take the best health setup. And the best cost efficient food for you to eat is a raspberry, a mushroom, and honey, which will get you 70 total hit points and 135 stamina. Once you reach the Black Forest, the best hit point setup for you will be cooked meat, a grilled necktail, and the Queen's Jam, which will give you 130 hit points and 165 stamina. The best setup for your stamina will be cooked meat, carrot soup, and the Queen's Jam, giving you 115 hit points and 205 stamina. The most cost efficient setup for your food once you've reached the Bronze Age is a yellow mushroom, cooked meat, and honey, which will get you 105 hit points and 145 stamina. Moving on to the Swamp and the Mountains, or the Iron and the Silver Age, the best setup for hit points that you can get is Sausages, Serpent Stew, and Turnip Stew, netting you 215 hit points and 245 stamina points. The setup for stamina at this stage would be Carrot Soup, Serpent Stew, and Turnip Stew, giving you 175 hit points and 265 stamina. And the most cost efficient setup at this stage should be sausages, carrot soup, and turnip stew, assuming you have that garden rolling, giving you 155 hit points and 225 stamina points. And finally, once you reach the plains, the best setup for your hit points is blood pudding, lox meat pie, and serpent stew, giving you a whopping 275 hit points with 285 stamina. In order to capitalize on the highest stamina you can in the plains, you would want fish wraps, lox meat pie, and serpent stew, getting you up to 245 health and all the way up to 325 stamina points. And to capitalize on the best cost efficiency in the plains, you would look to have bread, turnip stew, and sausages, which will get you 175 hit points and 235 stamina points. Again, the health and the stamina point list for these should be the maximum amount of health or stamina you can get in each situation while the cost efficiency one is more of an opinion. I will say, however, that you should pay attention to your particular skill level in the game or how you tend to play the game in general. If you seem to take a lot of hits or prefer not to dodge quite as much and wear heavier armor, you should look to get the highest hit points that you can. If you feel that you're more skilled, if you're good at timing your dodges, parrying attacks, or if you prefer to use a bow and fight from a range, you should look to optimize your stamina use. And obviously, if you are not heading out to fight tough creatures or push into a new biome, then you should look for the cost efficient option and use whatever you can easily renew or replace. As a final little side note for everyone here is to keep in mind that when you are sailing or building, doing something non strenuous or non combat, that due to the way the food degradation works, you are better off eating only one piece of food if you're doing one of the more laid back activities. As we discussed already, Serpent Stew, for example, will degrade one hit point over 30 seconds when eaten by itself, but when you stack it with other foods of similar quality, it will degrade every 9 seconds. And since you don't need high overall hit points or stamina during activities like sailing or fishing, it's better to waste less food on it and have your hit points not degrade quite as fast and save your resources for combat activities. Which is something that makes carrot soup very good for all of this, since it only degrades one hit point over 75 seconds and should be fairly easy to grow if you have a garden rolling. Hopefully the information in this video was helpful to you and did not bore you to death with all of the numbers. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.